a life of hard labor, a life of servitude. That's what we're trying to escape. A life looking at a computer for 14 hours a day. That's why we want to be entrepreneurs, right? So we don't have to deal with any of that. So what are we really escaping? And the answer is, we're escaping having other people tell us what to do. And instead of having a boss that's not us, our boss is us. It doesn't mean you avoid having a boss. You would just switch from having some random dude being your boss to having you being your boss. And having a boss actually means having a boss. So when I hear questions like, why do entrepreneurs have to be hardworking? The only answer is because you really want to achieve success. There's nothing worse. And, and being somebody that's gotten out of this now, there's nothing worse than being one of these entrepreneurs that's constantly trying to make enough each month to survive. We were doing this for seven or eight months on the course selling side of the business. Every month we would launch a course or we would have course sales come in and they were $250 for one course or maybe $1,000 for a course. And even if we'd sell you know, 12,000, 18,000, some months we were hitting $25,000 months, then the calendar would switch over to the next month and the grind would be all in it again. Do we launch a course? Do we send this promotion? What do we do? And it was only by switching our model to a monthly recurring revenue model, where now to join Email 10K Ultimate, you can't even buy one of our courses. You have to join the monthly program to get access to all of our courses. It was only by switching to that model that we were able to free ourselves from that constant grind of work. Now, one entrepreneur could be like, okay, we're free now. We've automated 20K a month plus in revenue. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Now we can go on vacation to Tahiti. Tahiti is the first place I thought of when I, when I thought of a vacation. That's interesting. Maybe we got to go to, to Tahiti. That's the first thought that somebody would have. But the thought that I had, and the reason why we even implemented the monthly recurring revenue model, and the same reason why we're filming these YouTube videos, is if we create content in batches and create content that grows itself every single month, now all of a sudden our minds are free to work on bigger tasks. If you stay grinding away at 10K a month or 5K a month, every single month you're resetting. If you stay there, you are distracted. It's bad because you're distracted because it feels like you're working really hard, but it also is bad because your life is slowly being taken from you. You could stay in that grind set of, you know, between five and 15,000 in revenue for your entire life, 40 years, 50 years. Some people, small business owners especially, stay in this grind set their entire life, never growing past that point. And part of it is because every month that they win, they think they need to go take a vacation and they need to start resting. When in fact, what they need to do is grind even harder. When we automated our income to the point that we're at 10K a month pretty consistently with our course sales, well, now we need to get more people in the pipeline because what did we prove? We proved that a certain number of people will see our offer and then they'll stick around and they'll get value from our offer. We're getting testimonials. We're seeing a lot of results. So now it's our mission to get you know, a thousand people in here every single month or even 10,000 people in here every single month because there's no point in only having 100 people in the group or 200 people in the group or whatever it is. Because if our thing is so impactful, then it should be our mission to get that out to as many people as possible. But you can only think about that when you've automated the baseline of your income. So that is why entrepreneurs work so hard. The other part of it is it's an addiction. It really is an addiction. When I was a kid in high school, I would play video games nonstop. World of Warcraft, I might have mentioned this before, but if you're new here, I used to play a lot of World of Warcraft my entire childhood, basically from the moment it came out, like 2004, all the way until maybe 2016. I played World of Warcraft at least a couple hours a day. And most days, especially when I was in school, like eight, nine hours, I would wake up at 4 a.m. to play WoW before school. And then the first thing I did when I got home would be play WoW. And we had laptops in our high school and we would be playing throughout the day, me and my friends, all day, all day. So 
all that I did mentally was gamify our life, gamify uh, the businesses that we run to feel more like wow to me. Now, when I tweet, it's kind of like completing a quest or killing a boar, because I know if I do 10 powerful tweets, we might make one sale. So every tweet is like a grind towards that sale, or every tweet is like a grind toward the bigger mission of like connecting with X number of people. And if you have this many fans, then you can hit this number of sales. It really becomes like a game. And I didn't actually realize this till I stopped playing video games entirely, but you can redirect the energy that you normally would spend wasting time into hard work by eliminating the time wasting activity. I used to watch a ton of movies, uh, but even then like, Movies are really boring to me, and I like mousing off of them to go do other stuff. They're actually a productivity uh, addition in my life. I still watch a bunch of Netflix, but what'll happen is I'm watching a movie like Wolf of Wall Street, and I'll get 10 minutes in before I think of something I got to tweet, or I think of something I got to respond to in the message, and then, yeah, I'll watch like another 10 minutes, get so hyped, like keep working. And that's because the business should be more fun than anything else you have going in your life. The suite of businesses is more fun, and, and you can structure the, the business however you want. So for instance, if I was just running Email 10K Ultimate as a business, I would get bored. If I was just running this YouTube channel as a business, I would get bored. If I was just running even like just Taplio, the LinkedIn AI startup, if I was just doing that one, I'd get bored. If I was just running Lead Shark, I'd get bored. If I was just a full-time Twitter influencer, I would get bored. And so I've created now this combo of games that keeps me working hard because when I get sick of one, I'll work on another. You know, when, it, when Lead Shark is, uh, the, you know, the developers need to put in some work to make the product better, or I'm waiting for the sales team to hit their quotas, now I'm working on Taplio. When Taplio and Lead Shark are both doing good, I'm tweeting. When Twitter is doing good, I'm writing YouTube content for this channel, maybe posting in the community tab or something. When Email 10K it, Ultimate is doing good, then I'm focusing on something else, like constantly keeping these multiple games of business going. And that is why entrepreneurs work so hard. Other people as well have seen the same thing. Your business should be as fun as World of Warcraft. Your business should be as fun as Call of Duty. Your business should be as fun as RuneScape. You need to be addicted to your work the same way that you'd be addicted to those video games to the point where I don't want to play video games right now because my work is more fun. Because my work is just as fun as World of Warcraft, but instead of getting gold, I get real money. <laughs> and not that I value the actual cash of the money, but like just the digital currency coming in is much cooler because I know it can be like redeemed for actual things in reality <laughs> versus wow gold can't be redeemed for anything. So when you ask why entrepreneurs have to work hard, you should rephrase that as why do entrepreneurs get to work so hard? And how do I structure my life in a way that makes it so fun to work hard where it doesn't even seem like work? When I put in 14 hour days on my phone, the days fly by. It doesn't seem, it, I, I'm not like here like forcing myself to do stuff. It's compulsion. I love to do stuff the same way that you like to eat sugary snacks. I like to tweet sugary facts. It's just in my bloodstream. The same way that the processed sugar is in your bloodstream. So if you want to work hard as an entrepreneur, that is my advice to you. Gamify it as much as possible. Add things that are exciting to you so that you want to work on it. I want you to not be able to sleep, not because you're so stressed out about the results, but because you're addicted to the sales notifications that are coming in. I stayed up almost all night the other night during a launch for one of the SaaSes that we ran just because I loved updating the Slack channel every time we got a sale. You know, 200, 201, 202. And I was just there like, hitting the Slack channel. It didn't even matter that nobody else in the team was there and they were all asleep. It just mattered that I got to report it every single time. Make your business that fun and you'll have no problem working hard. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smash that like button to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Subscribe for more and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.